What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Unleash Success. This is your host, Corey Corpodian. Today's Mental Monday is about making mistakes and failing forward. Um, and you might notice it's being released on a Tuesday, and we'll get into that in later in this episode. So... Also, I just want to let you know that we are going to be releasing episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday is a new episode with everyday entrepreneurs, people making $1,000 to $10,000 a month. And they're going to be teaching us the strategies they're using right now that some of them have been able to quit their day job. So if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, be sure to do that so you get these new episodes. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter, uh, I have been finally writing that more often. So if you're not getting it, please let me know. Send me an email, Corey at UnleashSuccess.com. I've been having some trouble, honestly, as I've been more consistent with the emails. Um, But you can also enter your email at UnleashSuccess.com. Go there and you can subscribe to the newsletter. So for today's episode, making mistakes and failing forward, we all hear that, but do we actually do it? And you notice this is a mental Monday being released on a Tuesday because guess what guys? I made, I made a fucking mistake, right? I made a mistake. I'm human. It happens. Um, but honestly it was, it was pretty, uh, kind of a bummer. I made a mistake about the date I was releasing last Monday's episode, and I didn't even realize that I didn't release one last week, so I apologize for that, until I was going to release this week's Monday episode. So instead of waiting to release it until next week, I decided to just release it on a Tuesday, make it stand out a little bit more, and talk about making mistakes, and why they're important to, you know, not necessarily regret so intensely. Sometimes people make mistakes and it could be the smallest mistake, but they feel like their life is over. They feel worried about it. They regret it. They're so, you know, focused on it about what happened in the past that they regret it so much. They beat themselves up over it that they worry they're going to make the same mistake in the future. One of the biggest things that I had to learn, especially when it came to entrepreneurship, because there's so much risk involved and there's so much out of our control is that mistakes are going to happen. We don't know everything. Um, we are going to make a ton of mistakes. In, in this podcast, every time I record an episode for probably the first 20 episodes, I made at least 10 mistakes an episode. And if I hadn't started, if I hadn't started doing it, I wouldn't have even known what the mistakes were going to be. If I hadn't pushed myself to just say, all right, I'm going to begin this. I'm going to start this. I'm going to do this and I'm committed to it, then I wouldn't even know where I'd be at right now. I'd probably just be still dreaming about doing a podcast. And the funny thing is, how many of us have done that in the past? And if you're doing that right now with something, don't beat yourself up over it, all right? Guess what? We all make mistakes. We all beat ourselves up. Even I do. You know, it's, it's just, it's kind of part of the human condition. And even releasing my book, you know, I postponed that a year, a year. I really wanted it to be perfect. Now, Was it perfect when I published it? No, it wasn't. There's definitely flaws in it. But the truth was that I had put so much time and energy and effort, I I had to release it to the world at that point. You know, perfection is the enemy of greatness, really. And it's held me back for a long time. So accepting that you're going to make mistakes along the way is actually a very empowering feeling. And the ability to fail forward, meaning that when you fail, you're actually taking a step forward that you're, you're not going backward. You're learning something new. And I talk about this all the time about how failure is really a beginning, not an end. How if you learn a lesson from it, it is beneficial. But sometimes people just really harbor regret or they're upset about the mistakes they've made. And I wanna give you permission today to let go on this Tuesday where we're doing a Mental Monday episode. Just let it go. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done, but guess what? Just like anything, whether it's meditation, physical fitness, happiness, gratitude, it all takes practice. So if you want to practice forgiving yourself, start right now. If you want permission to forgive yourself, I'm giving you that permission. I want you to understand that perfection is not attainable. 
You must work really, really hard to accomplish anything great, but you are going to fail. Every single entrepreneur I have ever met has failed countless times. They've made thousands of mistakes, but they keep moving forward. That's all you got to do. So if you are overcoming a mistake, if you're getting rid of some sort of regret and failing forward, I'd love to know what it is. Please message me at Corey at UnleashSuccess.com or feel free to send me a DM on Instagram at CoreyCorpodian.com or sorry, Corey Corpodian on Instagram. Um, also, guys, if you are trying to take your mental fitness to the next level, I wrote a book called Emotional Fitness. It's something that I am really excited about. It's been out for six months and it really creates a guideline for all of the exercises that I did to mentally take my life and my emotions to the next level. And I believe emotional mastery and emotional fitness is so important because every goal we've ever had is either the pursuit of an emotion like happiness, fulfillment, success, or shying away from a negative emotion like fear or you know not feeling good enough or not being able to do it. So if you wanted to get that book, go to masteremotionalfitness.com. You can get the copy. It'll take you right to Amazon. Thanks for subscribing to Unleash Success, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for our next interview. Thanks.